Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters I hope you are well an Austrian political scientist and visiting professor of international studies at Williams College Farid Hafiz has been granted release and his T charges against him by the Austrian government has been dropped Farid Hafiz was known to be not at all fearful of the Australian government Farid had submitted a dissertation in which he analyzed parliamentary debates on the ban of mosques and minarets in two Austrian counties after that he also published his first book Islamophobia in Austria since then Hafiz published widely on Islamophobia in 2010 he founded the Islamophobia studies yearbook in 2015 he created the European Islamophobia report On 2nd November 2020, four people in Austria got murdered and that was taken as an opportunity to create an atmosphere of fear and was used to legitimize mass raids against Professor Hafiz and 29 other people. This was represented by the Minister of Interior as a strike against political Islam. Professor Hafiz, the only academic among them, was singled out and targeted as the public face of the operation. It was the largest raid in Austria since World War II. 930 special forces destroyed his entrance and woke his children in their bedroom with guns in their hands at 5 o'clock in the morning. Hafiz's apartment was one among some 60 homes of Muslim activists and academics raided in November 2020 as a part of what Austria's interior minister called Operation Luxor. Now, after two and a half years from that raid, government has dropped T charges against Farid when they were unable to find any evidence against him. Looking back, the Farid also claimed that the accusations raided against him were insane and came out of the blue. The government was only trying to silence any voice raised against it. The search warrant that the police had issued while raiding Hafiz's house alleged bogus reasons as he wanted to destroy Egypt and Israel and establish a worldwide Islamic caliphate with Jerusalem as his capital. In addition to supporting T, other charges as hostility to the state and money laundering was also charged upon Farid. An innocent person bore so much torture just because he raised his voice against Islamophobia. He raised his voice against destruction of mosques and ban on hijab. He was acting as a face for all the Muslims living and facing discrimination in Austria. Now the time has come dear brothers and sisters that injustice has spread everywhere and still we cannot even speak about it. We fear for us and our loved ones that someone with authority will come up with any accusation, any allegation and may harm us. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam once said The best fight in the path of Allah is to speak a word of justice to an oppressive ruler. In Quran, Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained a painful punishment for those who are unjust. Innal ladhina yakfuruna bi ayatillahi wa yaqtuluna an-nabiyyina bi ghayri haqqin wa yaqtuluna alladhina ya'muruna bil qisti minan nasi fa bashshirhum bi 'adhabin alim Farid has now relocated to the United States to become a professor at Georgetown University but he still recalls the horrors of that fateful night. We pray to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala that he may find peace now and may Allah bless him and his family members. May Allah help Muslims facing discrimination and persecution in Islamophobic countries. May Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala give us strength to hold on to this deen. Amen. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.